Hi everyone, happy Sunday. I'm Joe, coming at you with 2021-22 Elite Basketball, Panini Elite Basketball, six box, half case, pick your team number nine. So nine and 10 are from the same case and all card ship. This just dropped on Friday. We're finally starting to uh, dive into the brand new draft, the latest draft class. We've been working on uh, last year for quite a while. We did 2020-2021 Flawless Basketball, which generally represents the last major basketball release of that class. And now we can start diving into 21-22. So big thanks to this group. Big thanks to Nathan Jones. Grabbing a big chunk of teams at the end. Thanks to everyone else, of course, for grabbing their teams as well. Second half is already loaded up if you missed out on the first half. All right, so now you can see the... Elite basketball sticker right there. Now, usually these, the 2021 or the new draft class, well, let's put it this way, let's go backwards really quick. Usually flawless basketball ends up releasing in the fall, fall, winter, and then we start seeing the, the current draft class. But I think with supply chain issues and the pandemic and all this sort of stuff, pushed the whole calendar around a little bit, made it a little goofy. But I, in a way, I think that's almost a good thing because now we've already seen a lot of these rookies in action, which I think is great. So, which makes it easier for us to, to know who we want to chase. All right, so there's, you can kind of see the two, four, six boxes there, two, four, six boxes on the right side over there. We're going to select a die. Let's select that one. Matches the color of the boxes. One, two, three for the left six, four, five, six for the right six. And it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So these we will do uh, next time, probably some point tomorrow. So you can kind of see 10 marked on all of those boxes so we all know they're from the same case. So let's put these aside. It's over here for now. So these are the six boxes we'll be doing right now. Good luck, everybody. I think I... Let's uh, let's load up the 2021 NBA draft just so I can have that info on hand. And just in case, I don't think we're going to need it, but let's pull up the group rate checklist as well. We'll be going by that. And I've dropped that checklist link into the chat for those of you who want to check that out. So thank you and good luck, everybody. So All-Star Weekend is finally over. Everything's done. Steph, Steph Curry, I think LeBron made the game-winning shot for his All-Star team. Steph Curry won the MVP. And now I think we're in the, I think we're already past the halfway point of the season, but now we're past the ceremonial halfway point of the season. We'll go push onward to the end of the season and then the playoffs. So it'll be an interesting... I'm a Lakers fan. It'll be interesting to see how my Lakers look without Andy Davis for a good chunk of time. See if they can squeeze into a playoff spot.
That's a little hard to see the names just because they're they reflect so easily, but keep it at a nice angle there. And of course, all card ship. There's Trey Mann, 628 out of 999 for OKC. There's Luka Doncic to 80 out of 99 right here, primary colors. See if we can find a uh, Trey Man's teammate, uh, Josh Giddy, who's been playing playing really well. And we've got rookie yearbook, his other teammate, uh, Jeremiah Robinson Earl, two out of ten. Rookie autograph for OKC. That'll be for Nathan Jones. Got Josh Christopher for the Rockets, 29 out of 999. It's Jones with Houston. Let's see if we can find his teammate as well. Donovan Mitchell die cut. James Harden, 99. Still Nets edition here. It did, Chris. Uh, I think the main video will have the link to the break credit video. Sorry about that. Luke Kennard. Impact Impressions. He had a nice little uh, performance in the three-point contest. Jones is not convinced that Giddy is in this set. Is he on the checklist at least? Yeah, he's allegedly on the checklist. He's got pen pals autographs, rookie yearbook autographs, base rookies, next up inserts. So, supposed to be here somewhere. All right, so Luke Kennard Clippers, that's going to go to Jones. That was the auto. Next box. Maybe this will be the break. Where, uh, where we pull some giddy. So basketball fans, if you're listening, who do, who do we like in this draft class? Who's been impressing you so far? Did I, has Cade, Cade Cunningham has maybe had a slow start, or is he doing better now? Jalen Green, I know, has been playing well. I mean, definitely, definitely, uh, definitely has some ups, has some fun plays, good monster dunks. Evan Mobley, I know, has been playing well. 
Uh, Scotty Barnes has been uh, great for the Raptors. I'm not sure if I've heard too much about Jalen Suggs for the Magic. Josh Giddy, I'm sure Hollywood. He will be Giddy if we get Giddy. Josh Giddy, I know, has been playing well for OKC. Jonathan Kaminga has been getting minutes for the Warriors. I think uh, Franz Wagner, he's been playing well, right? Davion Mitchell, solid. And I think after that, I've not really heard too much from the other first-rounders. That's about nine or nine or so picks in. For Jones, Giddy and Mobley are the seems to be the standouts thus far. And Scotty Barnes. Yeah, I think we've got some Raptors fans in our uh, that are regulars with us, and yeah, they're happy. They're happy about the Scotty Barnes as well. Yeah, it is. I guess it is tough. K. K. Cunningham being on the Pistons. Jones is biased, but Bones Highland for Denver. It's fun to watch. I feel like we've got a pretty even draft. Excuse me, maybe not um, maybe not even, but like sort of a well balanced draft class, which I think is kind of nice. So it's not just like one or two teams that are like super expensive, and those are all the all the players that we're chasing. You know, so I I like that because I think that. That doesn't make one team too expensive and another team too cheap. So so far, I kind of like the like the balance a little bit. Hollywood thing. Hollywood say Mobley, best. There's Alperin Sengun, uh, eight fifty-seven at nine ninety-nine. Like with last year's product, it was like. Charlotte and Minnesota were, were just so far and away the more more expensive teams. I guess you still had like, you know, Warriors, Kings. You know, there's some some other teams that were a nice some nice mid range teams, but I feel like the the top level rookies have kind of balanced each other out a little bit, which I think is good. I mean, obviously that that can change as as the months go on, but at least for now, that's what we're looking at. 31 out of 70, Julius Randle, die cut. And a Sean Kemp, Impact Impressions autograph. That's going to go to the former Supersonic. We'll go to OKC. Jones with that one. Uh, 554 out of 999, Joan, Joan, Joe, <laughs> Wisecamp for the Spurs. That'll be for Matt Daniels in San Antonio. Spellbound Giannis. It's been a lot of cards to get onto Tecumpo, right? There's a fox in the bit, the fox in the box, the Aaron Fox, ninety nine. And there's Doug McDermott, Impact Impressions, Spurs. Teach me how to Dougie, Matt Daniels with the Spurs. All right, next box.
16 threes for Steph Curry in the All-Star game. Wild. All right, another box. Good luck, everyone. Thank you. cards in a row. Spellbound, John Morant. You think these you think these puzzle piece together? You think the O can fit right there? Is that how it works, you think? Or no? Anyway, if Minsu, if you wanna embark on that that journey, let us know. Minsu has the uh, Grizz. Ooh, and a Lonnie Walker, the fourth, one of one. Nice. That'll be for Matt Daniels and the Spurs out of five and under. Get the uh, world-famous train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. THT to 95. I'd love to see THT kind of come out firing after the All Star break. We're gonna, the Lakers are gonna need him. This is time to shine. Because that guy, <laughs> street clothes again. Logan. Logan's got the Cavs. He needs an Evan Mobley. There's a Doug Christie. Impact Impressions. Some Doug autographs here. This is uh, for Arthur King and the Kings. Arthur's Kings. A rookie card here. Another rookie card. Which looks like they're few and far between. All right, there's Trey Murphy the third, Pelicans Minsu. And this I think Grizz is also for Minsu. That's uh, Santi Aldama. And we got Sengun Alperin, Rockets. Rookie yearbook autograph for for Jones. One of his many last spot mojo teams. Alright, 
We'll see uh, Chris Broussard floating this like ridiculous. I mean, I don't know. I don't know why I'm giving him any kind of attention at all, but it's just so ridiculous. He had some crazy idea that that the Lakers would be able to trade Anthony Davis for Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. I'm not sure why Miami would do that. Well, no, his 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 argument was, don't give him the clicks. But his his, his argument was uh, was that Pat Riley likes superstars, something like that. Silly. When does the NBA start up again? Looks like it's like uh, they'll get you know a good chunk of time off actually. They're back Thursday, February twenty fourth. So this Thursday, our first national TV game will be Boston at Brooklyn, which I think should be. Pretty interesting. I feel like there's John Wall. I wonder if the Lakers should have made the move. I feel like you had you kind of you should, they should have. I feel like Boston going into the break was uh, playing some hot basketball. So hopefully they didn't lose too much steam going there. Brooklyn. I think Ben Simmons should be. Is that his debut? I know. I feel like Seth Curry has been a great addition to that to that team. I was surprised that the Sixers let him go. There's Joe Weiskamp again to nine ninety nine. Another spur for Matt. This Thursday, the late TNT game will be Golden State at Portland. Which I'm sure. The schedulers were expecting a little more from that when they made that. Here is a LeBron James spellbound. 64 out of 99. And we've got Elvin Hayes for the old Washington Bullets. Impact impressions, which will, of course, go to the Wizards. Nathan. Excuse me, throat's drying out a little bit, a little lozenge. Apologies if it sounds like I'm talking with a marble in my mouth. 
because I am essentially. There's Alperin again for the Rockets. For Nathan. There's Steph Curry. Who is your all star MVP? I think we got a teammate coming up for him. Current teammate? It is a current teammate. That's Jonathan Kaminga. Oh, it's one of those next up inserts. It's pretty cool. That's Rashawn and the Warriors. This one's not numbered. Yeah, I guess you're going to build this set without other LeBron James. You have to find the other ones that are numbered. Ooh. Who's a redemption? Any guesses for bragging rights? Logan guessing Mobley. Giddy, with absolutely no skin in that guess. Yeah, Logan doesn't have any skin in that Mobley guess either. Good luck, everybody. We got passing the torch signatures. Could be anybody, I feel like. J. A. N. M. Jane. James. James. Whoa. James Bonite and Ray Allen. James Bonite is a Hornet. So then where's that? What's that Ray Allen? Ray Allen passing the torch. Thun Thunder. Oh, so that must be Seattle edition of Ray Allen. Let me just double check to make sure that's right. I don't think he has any other passing the torch autographs. Yeah, actually he doesn't because he has, he's only has one card in the set. 
He has a title, oh, two cards in the set. Tidal Waves insert for the Celtics, and then the Passing the Torch auto. So that's a randomizer between Charlotte, which will be Brian Watford, and the Thunder, which will be Nathan Jones. So we'll do that randomizer at the end. One happy person, one sad person. How do I feel about LeBron leaving the Lakers when his contract is up? I mean, that is, I mean, he's a free agent. That's he's, that's what he's allowed to do. Is John Morant to eighty eight? I think what he really wants is to play with his son. So I feel like he will he will go wherever someone gives him like a one year deal, and then wait to see uh, kind of wait to see who's who's going to get Bronny, and then go from there. I think that's kind of been the Kind of what I think everyone in L.A. kind of expected. There's Cameron Thomas to 99. So I think he's just going to position himself however. But I think, I don't think Bronny is going to be able to be drafted until two years. So that still leaves like a year. After LeBron James's one year with the Lakers, one more year with the Lakers, this upcoming year, right? I'm getting like years and seasons mixed up, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think I mean that was that was this is why the Lakers kind of mortgaged the future. LeBron came, moved mountains to try to get there's impact, get Anthony Davis, got lucky, he was healthy, you know, for that one year. In a weird pandemic year, got the championship, and that's it. Thank you, LeBron. I appreciate it. There's Michael Ray Richardson. Uh, Shang with the Knicks. I know it's the typo. Yeah, Joe P. Imagine if your sons won the title. You'd be so happy about it. So, relax, Joe P. Sometimes I think you hate the Lakers more than you love the Suns. Which is, I feel like you should reverse that. I think you're so used to your sons being terrible, you don't know how to love your sons. The Phoenix Suns, that is. Joe P. doesn't have a son yet. Um, so you should work on that. You hate the Lakers more than you love the Suns. Think about that. It's weird, right? All right, you take it. And Josh Jalen is your rookie yearbook autograph. <laughs> Logan, to be fair, what, what if the Jazz won? Last box. 
Oh, by the way, Logan, Joe P was looking for you earlier. I don't know. Maybe some, some good natured trash talking. I, I would love to see I would love to see the Jazz and the Jazz and the Phoenix Suns in the uh, in the Western Conference Finals. I would I would I, there may be some five minute timeouts for Joe P and Logan. It might get to that. What's that? What's that? What, who is that guy again, Joe P? In the playoffs, the the Suns in five or Suns in Suns in whatever dude? What are they? Uh, what's he doing? Is he still like a local celebrity? Is he is he doing commercials for local car dealerships? Maybe. Was it four Suns in four? Haven't heard anything about him since. Did he not leverage this? Could have been a big branding opportunity for him. He's got to have an Instagram that's that's blowing up. Oh, sorry, Jones. Jones is a Denver guy. You you and Joe P will get along. He's a Phoenix Suns guy. Did he sell some shirts with Barstool? All right, all right. Got to get a little payday out of that. You know, like all these news outlets probably using that footage, your your likeness for their gain. He's got to get a little something out of it. All right, last box. Thank you. The second half of this case is in the store. And we got Kean Johnson, the auto popping early. Rookie yearbook auto. KJ. Clippers, that's going to be for Nathan. We got a blue Kawhi Leonard, 63 out of 99 for the clip show. Another one for Jones. Yeah, I did. I did see. I do remember that. Well, the snake doesn't deserve it. Someone sent. Speaking of Denver, someone sent me, and I apologize to the person if if he if he's listening. Someone sent me a really cool. Nuggets shirt because I really love the old ABA logo. I think Maxi the Miner might be his name. I like that old logo. There's David Johnson to nine ninety nine for the Raptors. I feel like they got to bring that logo back like on a permanent basis. This is for Toronto, Nathan Jones. Tidal waves, Kawhi Leonard. When's Kawhi coming back? And Joakim Noah. Impact Impressions autograph. Bulls edition. Anthony with the Chicago Bulls. I think he's like a team ambassador now for the Bulls. Last I heard. Bulls. Anthony once again with the Bulls. Yeah, 
Yeah, Maxi Maxi Minor for the Denver Nuggets. Old ABA logo. That's right up there with the. I think the the Pittsburgh Steelers have an old cartoon character from the '60s. Some dude that sits on a big I beam or something like that. Big steel I beam. Well, it says <laughs> the old Cleveland Browns elf cracks me up. It needs to be more of that elf. And we got a Josh Giddy. 497 out of 499. Out of 999. There you go. Finally. A Josh Giddy sighting, your sixth overall pick from Australia. He used to play for the Adelaide 36ers. A little unfortunate thing in the corner right there, um, Nathan, but finally, finally spotted one. He's been playing some good basketball. He does exist. I think the rest of the card looks great. I just wish that was... You kind of see it right there. But he does exist. So Maxi Minor, yeah, you love him. He's part of their City Edition jersey, only in the belt buckle area. Though. Yeah, well, once the NBA season is over, sometimes I'll, 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 uh, I'll work that t-shirt into the rotation. And there's Westbrook to 10, 9 out of 10. And Kendrick Nunn, need him back too for my Lakers. And there's Westbrook right over here. All right, that's that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much. I appreciate everybody getting in. I got to make one person happy and one person sad. This is the, the nature of the group break beast. So let's flip back over to randman.org. And then it's Charlotte versus OKC. So that's the uh, that's the James Bonite and uh, Charlotte edition and Ray Allen. Seattle edition, of course, which goes to OKC. One dice roll for that one randomizer. There's no other randomizers I have to do, right? No, no other randomizers. Good luck. We're going to randomize that list four and a one. Five times, team on top after five. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five, goes to Charlotte after five. So that's going to be for Brian Watford. Congrats to you. Nathan on the other side. Apologies. So this duel will go to Charlotte. I don't know how well or not he's been playing this year, but at least he got Ray Allen on the other side. That's the passing of the torch signatures. There you go, gang. I guess quick little recap while I have it. Thanks, everybody, for getting in, for making it happen. There's that one of one right there. Second half in the store right now, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Uh, get into that. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.